Hello. It's been a while. Have you ever um, gotten stuck in a habit and felt you couldn't live without this habit? Well, I have. And I'd like to uh, speak to you about that today. I'm Rosemary Bova, and this is TGI Rosie, my uh, weekly video or written blog. And it's intended to um, really give you something to ponder and reflect on over the weekend. We're all so busy, and particularly now that it's the holiday season, uh, taking time out for ourselves to reflect and ponder uh, can really be seen as a luxury. But in actuality, I think it's a necessity. I was recently at a um, conference and a couple of my colleagues and I were talking about how we start the day. And I um, shared with them that I am um, what I call a junkie for uh, CBS This Morning's news program. And um, we started talking about the impact that listening to the news has um, on a person as they start the day. And uh, these two colleagues, um, who I'm quite grateful to, challenged me to start the day differently. And so I have, and I'm into my second week, and I start the day now with a, um, uh, some reflection, some uh, meditation. Actually, I do it before I even put my feet down on the floor. Um, I will listen to, I actually like some of the Deepak Chopra meditations or the Mind Valley meditations. And I will lie there and meditate for anywhere from, I'm going to say, um, 15 minutes to 25 minutes. And then they challenged me not to turn on the TV, but to uh, use the, or the same time, which was basically at minimum an hour and maybe max two, uh, to use that time to reflect and to write and to think about a big project that I am interested in doing. I have to say the last two weeks have been quite extraordinary. They are different. My day goes differently when I start it with reflection and intention. So I'm going to ask you, uh, perhaps I won't challenge you, but I'm going to ask you to experiment with starting your day a little differently. I've attached a, um, uh, a link to an article uh, uh, with a, uh, that was written by in um, Success Magazine. The name of the author escapes me right now. But I found the article very interesting. He, try, he tried a 30-day uh, waking up at 4.30 a.m. Now, I'm not saying you have to wake up at 4.30 but I am saying start your day with intention and reflection and see what happens. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye now.